Howdy folks, this is Jagos, and today I am going to sit here and try to do something a little bit different. Now, what I am doing is that I am looking at Motherboard series on the making of Gears of War 4. The thing about this is I haven't read the entire thing. It's a documentary type deal. I'm going to sit here and show you all an archive of it. So if you don't want to sit here and support the support them in any way, shape, or form, you can just look at the archive versions. But the whole point of this is that you have embedded journalists into the gaming, triple A gaming industry. And what is happening is that Emmanuel Malberg and Motherboard are trying to sit here and get you hyped up for Gears of War 4. I haven't been hyped up for Gears of War since the first one. I know a lot of people didn't like Judgment. I watched the reaction to it and it was just that people really didn't pay attention. Now, what is the hardest thing about this is the fact that publishers are trying to sit here and mine the, the industry of the same stagnant ideas and I think that Gears of War is actually a stagnant idea here's why for me the story was never fleshed out as strongly as it could be and on top of that when I watched the story when I watched Gears of War 1 2 and 3 I played one but I mean I watched it as a kind of a movie the story Marcus Phoenix was a really weak character Everybody was an archetype. They didn't sit here and advance on Cold Train. They didn't sit here and advance on the enemies, so you didn't feel a very strong connection to them or the reason that you were fighting in this 10 year war on Sarda. And overall, I don't think that they understood why people have rejected the game. Um, the multiplayer was decent, and they have the chainsaw gun. But what else do they get instead of more spectacle? You don't get a very strong story with what you're getting. You don't have anything that is compelling with the Gears of War universe. So why in the world are you back into a fight that is supposed to be going on if it just finished with regards to Gears of War 3? Or, I mean, Judgment was a prequel. So you get to see a little bit more of certain characters and some of them died off and you had new characters but what can you sit here and bring into Gears of War 4 that makes it so much different than what you had in the first three this is something that I kind of am going to try to figure out I'm gonna have a criticism and an analysis of this in the later days I don't know exactly how long it'll take but this is six different pages of paragraphs and I'm going to sit here and show you all so if you all come to a conclusion on it you all can show it down in the underbar and we can sit here and just talk about it and see what goes on and then I'll probably make another video other than that it's kind of getting late here I'm going to sit here and just close this video out right now and then hopefully you all see and you all can guide me, talk to me, what do you, th you all think of the Gears of War series, as well as some of this kind of Hollywood-esque hype that is going on. Because to me, an embedded journalist like this, why in the hell should I sit here and listen to their opinion? I honestly don't know. And Vice, for all intents and purposes, has had this neoliberal agenda where they're trying to sit here and show that they're cool and hip, but they have something like this where they're part of an embedded Microsoft journalism. And the only thing that they're really going to be listening to is everything pro-Microsoft, pro-Gears of War, etc., etc. Not something that I really have a lot to look into, but I just want to see how this goes, see what I can find, see what the criticisms are, and I'll let you all know. So take care. See you next time.